Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing responsible web design principles. The first thing we're going to do is create a me media query. Media queries are a new technique introduced in CSS3 that changes the presentation of content based on different viewport sizes. The viewport is a user's visible area of a web page that is different depending on the device used to access the site. So that would mean the difference between an iPad, an iPhone, or a laptop of some sort with a large monitor. Media queries consist of a media type and and it and if that media type matches the type of device the document is played on, the styles are applied. You can have as many selectors and styles inside your media query as you want. Here's an example of a media query that returns the content when the device's width is less than or equal to 100 pixels. So you see media pixel max width is 100 pixels. So that just means that if the width of the device is 100 or less, it's going to execute these CSS rules. And the following media query returns the, co the content when the device height is more or equal to 350 pixels. So as you can see, this is the same thing, but they've got 350 here. If you had both of these, if you had a, a media device that was um, 300 pixels, it would execute these CSS styles. But if it was a really small uh, screen, it would execute these pixels as long as it was under 100 pixels. Remember the CSS inside the media query, query is applied only if the media uh, type matches that the device being matches the device being used. Adding a media query so add, add a media query so that the p tag has a font size of 10 pixels when the device's height is less than or equal to 800 pixels. Okay, so we want to say add a media query so that the p tag has a font size. So here we have p tag as a font size. But what we want to do is add the media query. So we can say at media, and then we say the min height is at 800 pixels. Okay, actually it says um, when the device's height is less than or equal to 800. So we want to say the max height is equal to 800. That means that once the device height is greater than 800, um, it'll use the, once it's 850, for example, it'll use font size of 20. And so now we want to set the P element to be equal to font size of uh, 10 pixels here. Okay, so it looks like it works. So this font, this zoom right here, this, if I go Command Shift 4, I can see that the width of this um, window here is about 360. And we've just set it so that if it's at 300 and, uh, or if it's at bigger than 800, it'll become large again. So theoretically, if I move that bar over to here, you see where it's 8, 850 or 882? If I move this bar over to here, then the, computer should recognize that this viewport has become bigger and then the font size will go from 10 pixels to 20 pixels. Okay, it doesn't seem to be working. I'm gonna run the tests to see what happened. Hmm, it has worked. So yeah, this should be mobile responsive right now because of the media query, but maybe it's just some sort of a glitch in the system, but that's how this works. Basically, if it's um, the max height, once the size of the viewport becomes greater than 800 pixels, it goes from 10 pixels to the default of 20. But if you're in a media um, environment where the height is uh, less than 800, then this media query CSS will kick in and shrink the size of the font from 20 to 10. Anyways, this passes the test, so I hope this was helpful. We'll see you guys in the next lesson.